our lovely viewers welcome back to Ghana team it's your girl again with the segment like share comment subscribe turn on the notification button and get more trending updates from us miss the NDC parliamentary candidates who takes 700,000 million every year hmm. in Ghana there is a perception that most people go into politics because it is the easiest way for them to enrich themselves it is so true we all know that most of times people want to go into politics in Ghana because they feel that is where they can earn more money this perception is mostly fueled by the sudden change in the lifestyle of politicians including parliamentarians when they come into power we all know how Ghanaian politicians and parliamentarians are when they get the chance to get when we vote them or they get the chance to win the seats they all, all of a sudden they change the movements in everything they do changes you see them getting expensive stuff traveling buying expensive clothes wearing expensive things which we all know it's, it's a norm in Ghana because most of the times we've understood that politics is what enriches people. So we all know that everybody wants to get into politics. Me, Kyle, when I get a chance, Kyle, do people go into politics because I feel at the end of the day, I'll get some money. Taxpayers' money are coming in, so I'll get my, my chicken change. However, some Ghanaian politicians are already super rich before they enter the realm of politics. We all know, though, some people are already rich when they get to politics, but sometimes, those who are not super rich are being overshadowed because it is a term in Ghana that in Kofuko politics because they want to become rich. But some of one one of the few people I know who is super rich that as people are talking about her, I'm yet to give you details on her. One one of such politicians is newly elected National Democratic Congress parliamentarian candidate of Amefi Central Constituency. Joanna Jan. Joanna Jan is the chief executive officer of the gold dealership firm, Golden Empire Legacy Limited. She's also the founder and CEO of Gem Multimedia Ghana Limited. We all know Joanna Jan. People are wondering Joanna Jan, Joanna Jan. Who is she? She is one of the prominent female female aspirants we have here, or one of the prominent figures we have in Ghana. She's doing so good with for herself she is also she she is also she has also received awards by folks as the best female minor of the year 2021 she also received the fair gold women of the year award and the fair women executive visionary of the year award in the same year she has received some awards to herself she's really doing so good for herself people are really questioning her because she has come as willing to say that she earns a certain amount of money yet still Ghanaians are doubting how can a politician make seven hundred thousand a year where is this money coming from even your gold mines you have or your companies you have are not going to really make such deals for you so how come you are making all this money Joan, Joanna Jan has stated that her main motivation for entering into politics is to make a difference in her community, not the money. Speaking in an interview on the delay show in 2020, Joanna disclosed that she earned 700 million dollars annually with a gold exports business she owns. She's on the view that she already had her money before she came into politics. She came into politics because she felt her constituency was not really doing so good. So this was the best time for them to see developmental projects in her constituency. That was why she went into politics. I do about 700 million every year. I do about 65 million a month. The company exports gold when I started. I was making around 200,000 million to 1 million, she said in three when asked about her net worth. I have a small scale gold exports license, a large scale gold exports license. I also have a company that's that does mining, she added. She's on the view that these are the things she does. So what people are saying about her that she came into politics because of the money is a lie. Because she, she was already doing good for herself. And she was already working. It wasn't like she was somewhere and all of a sudden she decided that, oh, let me just go into politics because in Ghana, politics makes, people are really making much when it comes to politics. She's a businesswoman on her own. She feels she has done so good for herself. So this is not a time for people to get angry with her or say all sorts of things about her calling her all sorts of names because she's a female and she's she knows how to stand for herself and she's bold she doesn't care what people say she always comes out to say i'm this i'm that so Ghanaians are having a big problem with her because they feel she talks too much what at all is she doing she keeps lying about her net worth what at all is she doing 
they feel she's always hiding under the NDC because she's a woman, because they can't really talk much about her. She's always hiding under her party, saying all sorts of things, I'm big, I'm this, I'm that. They feel she's lying because how can a gold mining business make this work? They are in Ghanaians are in the view that ah, Ghanaians are really suffering. Business are not really doing so good. So how come your company is earning that much? She's also on the view that she didn't start like some now. She started way back. Some time ago, she was also struggling, but yet still, because of this business, she bows back and she is who she is. Keep bringing in your comments, like and share. Do you, keep, do you think it was bad she coming out to say she ends this? Or do you think she has she has created enemies for herself? Keep bringing in the comments, like and share. If you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe. Turn on the notification button to get more trending updates from us. A business and entrepreneur, she is married to Ghanaian musician. Andrew Kojo Kweku, a member of Keche Group. Joanna is 36 years old and she hails from that part of film in the central region. We all know Keche. She's married to one of the guys, the group. Keche, we all know them. They are popular. Most of their songs were hit some time ago. She's one of them's husband. So she has come as well to say that, people, you should see. I'm a businesswoman and you all know my husband. He is also doing so good with his music and he has companies running for himself. So why are you people thinking that it's because of politics or it's because I've decided to go into politics? That is why I'm making this this match. Ghanaians are not really happy with her because they feel why would you people come out to tell us how much you end? It is whatever you end, keep it to yourself. Why? What are you trying? What are your plans? Why are you saying this so that people would envy you? Or are you saying this so that you create enemies for yourself? Ghanaians are questioning her. That why? What at all that she wants? You are an aspirant. Fine. So what? You want to get into politics. So what? Why are you coming out to tell us how much you earn? Or how much is in your bank accounts? We don't need it. We don't need all these details. So why are you telling us all this? You are the wife of Keche. So what? Ghanaians are furious. They are asking all sorts of questions because they don't really understand why she's coming out to say she is this, she's a businesswoman, she owns this, she owns that. Ghanaians are not happy with Joanna Kujo, but yet still, she's not bothered. She feels that's her. She doesn't care what people say about it. It is her. She chooses whatever she do or what not to do. It's her life. Whatever she says about her life, it's nobody's business. It's either you accept it or you don't accept it. What are your thoughts on this? Keep bringing in your comments, like and share. It's your girl, Chasey. I'm out.